This video is about how to write a research paper. It was produced specifically for my HS44, Drug Use, Physical and Psychological Effects, the online Why do we require you to write a research paper in this class? Well, this class is designed so that it will transfer to a four-year college should you decide to go on. To meet transfer requirements, a class must include a performance activity, which in an academic class Why the APA format? I know a number of you were taught how to write a paper in MLA format in high school or other classes, but the APA format, previously called the Harvard format, is the standard in counseling, psychology, and relationships. So what is an APA format paper? Here's an example of how you would do the paper for this class. In APA format, a four-page paper requires six pieces of paper. You do not count uh, one paragraph abstracts as a page. In upper division or graduate work, they will require an abstract. I'm not requiring that for this class, but if you do it, you can't count that single paragraph as a page. Your first page would be a title page, and that should include uh, the name of the class, your name, the title of your paper, uh, and the semester or class you're writing it for. Then you will have an introduction on the next page, why you were writing about this, and there will be some discussions. Then. So here's a layout of a four-page paper in APA format. This is a hypothetical, somewhat humorous example that I made up just to show you the process. Page zero is your title page. Here I've you, given you the example of, why do meth users have bad toenails? The title of the paper, then student, your name, the class, HS44, the semester, and the year. On page one, you begin with an introduction. In some papers, it would be scope of work or other titles, but the first is the introduction. Why did you write this paper? Please do not say, I wrote it to prove X, Y, Z.
On page two, the second page of your content, you will write more discussion. Do not use footnotes. Do not use numbers for the references. Use in-text citations. So if the quote was, meth causes toenails to grow fast, and this is from a paper written by Adams in 1913. Note that couldn't have happened since meth didn't exist then, but if it were, that's The fourth page of your paper text will be more discussions, and it might include a statement, the idea that there is a connection between meth use and toenail growth has proven to be a myth. Walensky, 2048, notice I'm anticipating he will write this paper off in the future. Page five would include more discussion, and somewhere on that page, halfway down or more, would be a, a section for your conclusion, where based on the information you gathered, you would summarize what was it you learned from all of the research that you have done. Plagiarism, don't do it. I know it's tempting to copy large sections of text from someone else or even to buy a paper from an online source. So what is plagiarism? I know some of you were taught an overly simplified definition. Plagiarism is more than just stealing someone's words. Uh, you may have thought that you could avoid plagiarism by simply rewording the sentence, but at this level, that's not enough. For our purposes, anytime you use someone else's idea, you should give them credit and use the in-text citations. What sort of sources should you use? Well, pick good ones, preferably professional articles, especially peer-reviewed articles. Uh, you may use web resources, but you must cite them correctly. For our, this paper, I Here's an example of a correct versus an incorrect web citation. In the first one, we have the author's name, Lynch, the date, 1996, uh, a title, uh, the date retrieved, and where it was retrieved from, and then the URL. It's important to include the date retrieved. Web resources change frequently. If I were to go back and
So what should you write about? Well, remember, this is specific to uh, the physical and psychological effects of drugs, the HS44 class. But the point of this paper is it's your opportunity. Next, once you have selected your drug, look for a problem. We're looking for a connection. Look to see if there is a connection between the drug that you've selected and one problem. What makes for a good paper? The narrower your focus, the more in depth you can go. Don't write a single paper on how bad methamphetamine is. If you write about that, you probably should produce a book of five or six hundred pages. Write a paper which explores the connection between one problem and the drug. Uh, maybe methamphetamine and some particular defect in unborn children, or Try to avoid things that are common knowledge. Most people already know that smoking causes lung cancer, that alcohol damages the liver, and that drinking during pregnancy damages the unborn child. Try to write about something Some other things that you need to know about writing your paper. Start early. You may have a wonderful idea, but then if you start to do it the night before and you're looking on the internet, you may not be able to find three or four sources that talk about your drug and this particular problem. You may have an idea that simply won't work. Start looking for at least those three to four good articles on the topic you want to write on. Also remember, do the best you can. Good luck and enjoy this experience of writing your paper. If you have questions, feel free to contact me.